today, we're gonna to be looking at three amazing dark mode portfolios that you can buy for less than $80 and have an amazing website. So let's get straight into it. So let's dive straight in. We have this first portfolio template called Double Studio. Now, whether you have a studio or you're a freelancer or a student, this template will be amazing for you. Now, one of the things that you first see is this really unique section on the top here, which is a slider. Now, it's gonna cycle through some of your projects automatically, and by putting your name below, it's a really unique experience when you first get on the website. I've not seen any portfolios like this before, so you're definitely gonna stand out with this portfolio. It really grabs the user's attention as you scroll down. You've got this nice interaction with the nav now sticks to the top, it was on the bottom before. And we can continue to scroll down here and get to the portfolio section here where these beautiful micro interactions on the date and the project type you can actually go and click on one of these portfolio projects and we're greeted with a really beautiful animation bold imagery where no matter what kind of designer you are this website template will be awesome for you you can scroll through these beautiful mock-ups here and on the side we've got a sticky content bar where you can look at what the overview of the project was, some of the services used, the client, all of that good stuff. Damn, looks amazing. Going to the portfolio about section. Again, we've got this beautiful animation marquee here about me. And this portfolio is for someone that really values minimalism. Like it's all about letting the images speak for themselves. Nice parallax animations. We've got about me section here. And I like this because you better edit this as much as you like and this image will always stay stuck to the side here. A little bit about your work history. And so all around, I think this is an amazing template for any designer who's looking to stand out with a dark portfolio. And you can actually pick this template up for 79 US dollars, which I think is a pretty good steal for a portfolio of this quality. Next we have Aronia, which again is this Webflow template, which I believe is more subtle We've got these really nice font choices here and these little icons. And that's one of the benefits of having a template is that you don't have to worry about what font you're using, what colors you're using. You can change these things if you like, but this template really comes out of the box, just ready for you to edit. And it's very simple. So if you're using Webflow for the first time, you'll have no problem using this as your website template. And I'm thinking for a brand designer, this would be really nice because we've got different uh, aspect ratios here. Um, you can really mock up any kind of work on this portfolio and just look how the colors pop on that dark background. This is another benefit of dark mode portfolios where by using colors that stand out on black, you can really make things pop in just a way that you can really only do in a dark mode portfolio. Now this section here is pretty cool because when you scroll, this animation is actually tied to that. So you can scroll past and see some of those services. You can also scroll down and see a bit of a process section here, what makes you different, some client logos, and then a contact form. Let's look at the works here and just click on one of these projects. Again, this is like a really simple design, but I think it works really, really well. You've got a live project link here with this beautiful button interaction. I really like that. And this is just showing good design here. It's not trying to be anything more than it needs to be. Again, these big full width images, if you're gonna write a little bit of a case study, you've got the content here to do that. You can just see how these beautiful colors pop on a dark background. And you can click on any of these images and it'll actually bring up a custom light box to help you cycle through these images in full screen mode. And I really like that touch as well. You've got a nice bold CTA at the bottom where if someone wants to get in touch with you, they can do that. And you can get this template for as little as 29 US dollars. I mean, that's an absolute bargain for a template of this quality here. So lastly, we've got Fropy, and this is a really cool template because not only does it have these awesome animations, but you can actually toggle between light and dark mode, which I think is a really cool touch. I personally love dark mode for when I'm, you know, at nighttime using my phone. So that's a really cool touch. You can scroll down here and it just really grabs a lot of attention. You can come to the section here where you have these little drop downs with some more information about your services. I like these animations here. You've got a portfolio section with a rotating marquee. Um, I like this pop up here that happens when the cursor goes on the image. It would actually have this cool little arrow. 
and you can scroll through all these beautiful projects here. Got a testimonial here, which I love this bold testimonial because it really gives a lot of attention to the user on what's being said here. Got some images of potentially you with clients or you and your university classes, uh, whatever photos you have, they're always good to put on your portfolio. We've got some content here that you can talk about your approach to design or your process. And we've got a contact form here. Let's take a look at the portfolio and what we can see on one of these projects here. And we have a nice centered layout for the top. And then down we have another sticky content section here where you can put all of your projects here. Now you notice it's gone back to light mode because on this portfolio you actually have to toggle back and forth. So that's one thing that maybe could be improved about this portfolio is having the user uh, choose dark mode once and having it stick the whole time. But again, I love this design and you can go, you can see more works at the bottom there. And so Fropy, this awesome template you can get for 29 US dollars. Again, great price for a great template. And if you're looking to build your first design portfolio, I recommend doing it with a template because it's set up faster. It's already developed for you. So you can actually just edit the template using Webflow or potentially Framer and then you have a template already set up. So once you've bought a portfolio template, the next step is to customize that template. And you might be wondering, I've never used Webflow before. How can I customize a Webflow template? Well, I've actually made a video on this on my channel we are take you through the entire process of editing a Webflow template. How to choose one, how to change images and text, how to add all your portfolio projects, it's all in there. So I'm gonna link that video so you can watch that somewhere here and also in the description. And if you've got any questions about Webflow or templates, feel free to comment below and I'll get back to you. Thank you so much for watching. I've got more videos coming about how to upgrade your design skills and what it's like to be a designer. And I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.